Hi there, I'm Cameron Kunzelman. Welcome to You Buy It, I Play It, the video series slash writing series sometimes where people buy video games for me and then I play them and then I talk about how I feel about them. So today we're going to be playing, or today I'm going to be playing, sometime in the future you'll be listening to me play Crimson Clover World Ignition, which is a bullet hell shooter kind of game. And uh, these aren't really my genre of game. I don't, I'm not particularly good at them, as you will discover in just a minute. But um, I, I tend to, I, when I play them, when I can get the words out and when I play them, uh, I tend to enjoy them. I think they're a fun idea. It's just not an idea that I deal with very often. And so my only experience is with Jamestown, really. That's that's really my only bullet hell kind of game, and I'm sure that someone watching this video or paying attention right now is uh, disappointed in me because I only have that small experience, but bracket all that, and let's start the game. So I've uh, played this a little bit beforehand, I played this uh, the other day, and so there's uh, arcade mode and there's novice mode, and I'm gonna, I've played through the game in novice mode, and I'm going to give it a shot in arcade mode. Give it a little shot. So... There, there's boost mode here, which uh, adapts to your skill level. There's original mode, which is uh, pretty standard as uh, as it declares. There's unlimited mode, which is hard as heck, and time attack mode, where you just score things. We're going to do original mode. I'm a good old-fashioned vanilla kind of guy. And I've traditionally been playing with the type 1. There's a type 2 that, where it, that changes in type 3. Which is like fast but not as shooty. We're gonna we're gonna be conservative. We're gonna play the type one here. And magically, wait, how do I do this? Alright, there we go. I don't need to watch the tutorial. I've already played it. I'm basically an expert. So I think this game is beautiful. Um I mean look at that. Look at that thing coming up out of the water. It's gonna poop out my little guy. Watch it out. And so, yeah, so I wiggle around. I've got these little, like, weird things that fly up around me. These weird, like, little side side buddies that uh, that also help me shoot. And it's really just kind of, you know, based around score. And there's also a kind of, like, break ability uh, or a bomb ability. It will give me, like, a little window of invincibility, apparently. I was reading about this on Wikipedia, but I'm not really sure what the button is. Not really sure how to do it. And I, uh, I have a really bad problem with these kind of shooter games or these kind of bullet hell games where I will back myself into the corner. And I, I realize that you have to kind of play aggressively, or at least intellectually I know that you need to play aggressively. You gotta like, you can't just hang out at the very bottom of the screen because that kind of robs you of some maneuverability that you need to get out of the way. Like this big shooty thing, what the hell is that? Oh. Uh, but, uh, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm a, I'm, I'm a coward. I like to, ooh, I like to stay back here. Woo, 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 wah, huh. But God, when they, like, there, I, I'm not sure that there's much in contemporary gaming that feels better than uh, dodging some of these things and then uh, blowing some things up. And I, I particularly, ah, oh, crap. I particularly like in Crimson Clover that when you blow up the thing that's shooting, all of its bullets uh, disappear off the screen too, which is a real, ah, uh, Spending too much time looking at the beauty. I don't... Okay, there we go. Alright. But we do some shooting here. And, I mean, I just... Every little piece of detail... Uh, whoa, shit. Oh, every little bit of detail in these games, I think, is uh, is beautiful. Whoa. Oh, so that's a, that's a bomb. Oh, that gives me break mode. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm able to shoot all these things. And so, I think this is mostly just about dodging. Because when you shoot these little turrets or kill these little turrets... They're still the they get new little guys that pop up, but um, I just love the the art. Ooh, and I get a little shield of invincibility that blows everything up. Look at that! Look at what an expert I've become in such a small amount of time. So I'm collecting these little stars, and as I collect them, that little gauge up in the top top right uh, fills up, and then I'm able to do it. So this is the first boss of the game. It's uh, it's named Trevor. And, and you just kind of got, like, Trevor backs up the whole time, and you just gotta, you gotta stay away. And he shoots these big old, big balls, and, oh yeah, yeah, clearing the screen, blowing some stuff up. And I have no idea how people play these kinds of games in the air. Oh, uh, 
should have known. I should have known. I have no idea how people play these kinds of games in arcades. I, that sounds like uh, an impossibility. And I would love to hear from someone who actually does do that. I've, I've never seen one of these games in an arcade in the United States, but I don't go to very many arcades. Um, so that doesn't, that literally means nothing. Oh, uh, ah, ha! Ah. And it's blocking off that side of the screen. And I understand that you can do these like very, or maybe the strategy, not just you can do, but maybe the optimal strategy is to do these little micro movements like I'm doing right now. Not to get too panicked, but God, I just love to get panicked. And I'm sure that people who are good at these games and and or play them a lot, I guess you could do each outside of the other, is uh, I bet you know the exact pixel size of your little player character. A uh, little ship, I guess. Not really a player character. But I don't know those things. Whoa, 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 there we go. Sweet. All right, so that's the first boss. I think there are five, I want to say. I played through the entire game um, at least one time. It took me about half an hour, so hopefully we can tighten it up a little bit. All right. Got a power-up. No lives lost. A lot of stars. I got an unthinkable amount of points for the amount of skill that I have. Here we go. Right into it. But yeah, I, just, I don't know how anyone can have the... Uh, Focus of mind and body to actually play this in an arcade. Oh, what an amateur move. And, um, I, you know, I don't really know the story of the game. I looked up the Wikipedia page right before it began, but I don't think there's any story content on there. I didn't see it, at least if there there was any story content. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, back into a corner. There we go. Use my bomb. Blow stuff up, go into break mode. And and I have a problem oh with dying all the time. But no, I have a I have a real problem with I get focused on the, the stuff that's coming up and I'm not looking at my character. And I have a lot of respect for whoever can do both those things at one time. That can like kind of pay attention to the game state on the board uh and look at their character at the same time. And I imagine I'm just supposed to be using this break mode every time it's up, like to a maximum amount of ability. Because it, it clears the whole screen, it gives me a little bit of a window of invincibility, which is pretty pretty crucial and key here. See, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I get all these stars, and so here's, I think, a mini-boss? I'm not sure that this is a full boss. Because the stage doesn't end when I'm done with it. But I love this, I love this charge attack, and it just kind of shoots out. And now I'm on the back foot. The last boss was kind of continually uh, rolling backward. But this boss is going to continue rolling forward at me. Oh, oh, ah. We're putting the pressure on. By we, I mean I. I'm putting the pressure on. You're not doing anything. But, so I'm kind of on this thing, and it's splitting apart. And now these are going to shoot me individually. But I'm going to do some of that. Use my ability. And these bullets don't, oh. These little little blue bullets aren't just kind of coming at me. They're, they kind of... Uh, move left and right. Not these shooty, weird things now, but the previous bullets that I had. Those. Those things there. Those little dots. They just kind of scatter all around the world, and they're just as difficult to to dodge as something that's coming directly at me. Whoa! Whoa, 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 uh, Big up to whoever the hell can do this. Alright, so I can use this thing. Really start giving it to it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Great. And that was stressful and, and caused a lot of emotional trauma and boom, they're right on me again. So I gotta, I'm gotta clear the board here. I get a power-up and I can kind of choose which of those power-ups to get by, by choosing when I pick them up, but I'm not particularly good at doing that and I'm not really sure what they all do. I haven't played it enough to know and it didn't seem like it was like in any kind of instructions, though I'll be honest, I didn't look very closely at any kind of instructions. We're really involved in a kind of uh, attacking some kind of industrial economy in this game, so I'm going to blow up everything with my bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Seems like there's army transports, there's fighter jets. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. 
And you see, you see how long I would last playing this in any real context that wasn't just on my computer. So I can't use my bomb right now because it says break mode standby. So this is the final boss. Look at that background. It's beautiful. In this sort of second layer. It really makes me want to make, you know, some sort of very crude version of this. I don't think I could I could get this far. I don't know the design, but this boss, you know, I don't know the design of this kind of game well enough to uh, really do it, but I could sure approximate something, like maybe one level. And this boss is just beautiful, so it's coming at me really aggressively, and it's pushing me down to the corner. Like, I'm not running away like I normally would be, because I don't have the option of running away. I can just, whoa! Ah! I'm just forced into the corner here. It's pretty brutal, and so I think what I have to do is shoot the arms, because at the very beginning of the, the fight, they told me, uh, they gave me those little targeting reticles. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Over the arms, and so I'm just trying to get those. And you see they're on this right hand side, they're kind of falling apart and I'm able to shoot through them. So it's kind of a, almost like a breakout, shooting breakout. Gotta get through the first layer before I can get to the second layer. Surprise, surprise. And look, I'm just dying constantly. This is not a, this is not an Iron Man run, let me tell you. Hoo ha! This is hard. Oh, and so maybe that's the strat. Maybe I can just get my, oh! <laughs> Ah, it's genius. God, I love this. I don't even mind that I'm terrible at it. It ran away. And now it's back. All up in my face. And, oh, I can actually get up here now. But it's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't look like the... I don't... I can't really tell. Like, I'm shooting it, and clearly it's, like, hitting because I'm getting little red marks. Like, little hit markers, I guess. Um, but it doesn't seem like the health is going down that much, so maybe it only, the health only goes down when I blow up a little section. Hard to tell, hard to tell without, uh, some kind of definite feedback, but I love this. I love how it lunges at you and shoots that, that stuff at me, the, out of its body. And so I'm actually forced to get up inside of its body in order to do any damage to that sort of back leg, that. I love that attack there. So yeah, when I get back into the corner, I think my only option is to use my, whoop, my break. And I guess there's probably a score multiplier for not using it. I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't just hammer on the button constantly as soon as it's up. But there might be a reason. You know, the pro strat might be to not just hammer on that button constantly to save it. To make it big or something. So all I got left, it looks like, is the body proper. Because I don't think the R... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm choked up. It's very emotional. I have tears streaming down my cheek, as Scott Ackerman might say. But I think I just have to shoot the body now. Yeah, and you can see the, uh, the health is just barely going down, like, per second. My DPS isn't good. i to use my break mode. But yeah, I'm just not sure, other than knowing which side... Oh, I maybe I'm luring it to the side, so maybe I need to do that. No? No idea. No idea. Please, by all means, tell me how to do this, if you, if you know how. Shit. There we go. Use my break mode on this giant uh, mining beast. Looks like my health's going down. I don't know what's going over on the left there. I'm going to reset my bombs. I'm not really sure what that does. Oh, I can still shoot. Alright, so that is major boss number two. I said before that there are five. There might only be three. Oh, I love this though. Listen to this music. And look at those pitcher plants back there. Like, totally creepy insect boss pitcher plants or something. Yes, insects. Look at this. God, it's amazing. Jamming on the insect planet. 
So each individual enemy starts to become kind of boss-like. I mean, this is, they're filling the screen full of stuff. That thing is huge. Maybe I can keep it from shooting me. Whoa, hell no, I can't. Ah, oh, so right here in the middle, the bullets go slower. So I can clear the, oh shit. Ah! No chance. Yeah, I just don't know. Every single one of these seems to have kind of a beautiful strategy to it. And I have no idea. I mean, look, increasingly I'm just straight dying the whole way. And even my bomb doesn't clear that one. I have no idea what to do. There we go. Look at this thing. Look how beautiful that spray is. But yeah, I would suggest I've enjoyed my time enough with this. Like, you know, I this is the second time I'm playing it. But I've enjoyed my time enough that I would suggest you do it. And I love, look at the way this is animated or the perspective that's going on here. So we are coming, I guess, going up. I don't know. It's like on the edge of a cliff. If, if this is directly top down, which perspective in these games is kind of weird anyway, but... So we're directly top down, it's kind of on the edge of a cliff. Look at those beautiful little sparkles. And it's just coming at us. Look at that thing. And this isn't even the boss. This is just like a mini boss in the middle of the map. Keep dying. Beautiful. Whoa! It's locking me up. And so maybe I'm supposed to be strategically using my break. Because it seems like it comes back fairly quickly. I'm just going to stay in the middle of that anyway. And so as soon as I get enough... Oh, use that too early. Okay. But as soon as I get enough stars, I can use it. So the next time it like poops out a bunch of stuff... Yeah, there we go. Oh, didn't even get a chance to use it. Okay. So it's pooping out a bunch of stuff. I'm using it. I get a little shield for a second. And I can maybe buy myself some time. Or just do some dodging. Oh, it's two layers. Every time I think I've got a little bit of the strategy figured out, it comes right back at me even harder. But God, I just love the way this looks. If you know, I'm probably a casual player. That's that's really what what we're learning here is that even if I enjoy these games, it's purely as a casual player. I mean, I really love really love Jamestown, but I more love the the art and the narrative design. I don't really know why the camera's drifting to the left. That doesn't seem can I come back oh so I did not even get to finish that mini boss that's a disappointment just because I'm not strong enough it's kind of a weird pity mode they're just like well you know if you can't do it in I don't know four minutes probably you'll never do it but yeah it's really demoralizing when my Explodey bomb isn't enough to clear the map. And I wonder if there there is a correlation between how much star stuff I have and how strong my bomb is. That would make a lot of sense. Look at these. These are like centipede craft. Craften. I'm sure there's a great German word that I can compound up to, to make that sound correct and beautiful. But I didn't manage it. Huh. Huh. Ha. Ah. I have to pump myself up to keep going. After being denied the ability to finish a mini-boss, who would do this to me? They just keep coming, and I keep shooting. It's a simple life in the world of the... Oh, I can't use my bomb! There we go. Simple life in the world of the shooty, shooty game. Get all these insects, get that thing, do a little bit of dodging here, use a bomb. Oh, that thing didn't blow up yet. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Sorry, this is, a, I, I'm sure that hearing me just scream, come on, come on, come on, into the thing isn't particularly helpful, and I'm actually not screaming, I guess, but that just told me to prepare myself, because it knows how bad I am. All right, let's check this out. I think this is the final boss. Oh, crap. All right, so this entire time I've forgotten that there are two different moves. What a goof I am. So the first one is this, my normal shooty thing. I've forgotten this from the last time I played. 
So it's a normal shooty thing. The second is I hold this button down and I can release it and it gives you kind of a Panzer Dragoon style uh, honing attack and I'm, or homing attack. And I'm sure that that's actually from shmups, shoot em ups, shooters. Um, and I'm just not aware of it, but but I strongly associate it with Panzer Dragoon 2 for the Sega Saturn, which I played quite a bit as a child. It was one of the... I didn't have a lot of games as a kid, and I had a lot of hand-me-down systems and stuff. Um, but the one console I got was the Sega Saturn one year, which, uh, sadly, was really not... Whoa! Sadly, was really not the best that I could have had. I've had to change my stance, so it's become harder to use my little star thing. Oh, yeah. Listen to this music. Hell. So apparently I can only do a few targets at a time, so it's hard to manage, like, this targeting system, shooting with my normal red stuff, and then uh, dodging all at one time. I mean, it's not like I'm doing a great job, still dying a lot, but I feel better about my abilities now. Yes, yeah, so I can move back down here a little bit. So using that shield to strategically kind of get back into position like I need to be. And I don't actually know how much damage the uh, the targety thing does, but it makes me feel better. It makes me, it's, a, it's an emotional system. So just continually pumping out these bombs. Every time I can. Whoop. Yes, I want to continue. I want to finish this game like the cool guy I am. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! Explosions. Look at me just cutting through that health. I'm so good. I got a, I got a thing. An achievement. Achievos. Shout out to Rick Chivo. So I can shoot stuff, I think. It's kind of flip-flapping all around the world. And presumably this is like a big bad alien, probably, or like my dad slash god, based on what I know about these kinds of games and JRPGs. I tend to base all of my video game knowledge on opinions I have of JRPGs from when I was a teenager. Skyrim, the end, it's her dad slash god. That kind of thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to use my bombs. That's got to be the last one. Maelstrom down. That thing. The big bad guy at the end. I lost no lives because I'm that good at this game. So I think this is the end. I hope this is the end of the game. It's not. Hell. I wonder if the novice version, I think that's the one I played on before, I wonder if it's a different thing. So I'm getting like a score multiplier now. I had Maybe that was always there, but I wasn't seeing it. Oh, hell. What the shit? Pardon my French, but what the damn hell? Oh yeah, now my bombs do functionally nothing. This is every enemy I've faced in the game so far. These little bullet things I were in the opening level. This is also a thousand times faster. I'm stressed out. I can't even use my, my word voice. Look at that. Look at that. Super cool move. That And they're like shooting sideways a little bit at me. Oh yeah, but using having access to my targety thing is really changing my whole life here. Let's blow, blow things up. Yeah, there we go. Look at all these dudes. These little monster things. Spaceships, I guess. But yeah, we're like flying through the atmosphere, maybe? I'm like below the... Oh, 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 purple sky. Wait, we're sideways. This game's messing with my head, man. It's like going to a Grateful Dead concert. Or fish, listening to a jam band all night. My favorite thing to do, of course. Ah. But yeah, I really... I, I wonder... If the strategy to beating these kinds of enemies is just A, to uh, memorize their patterns, which I, I could, whoa, shit, which I could understand, 
Like that makes sense to me, but uh, seems like it would be very boring. Okay, so now we're flipping around the perspective. Stormy time. Or if there's some other method. And definitely if you're a person who plays this kind of game, leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter or something. I'm definitely interested in knowing. Uh, it seems like most of the... Oh, shit. I don't know Okay, there we go. seems like most of the videos and things like that that I've seen about these kinds of games or that are strategy or uh, really kind of inside baseball, I've never really encountered an article or anything that... Uh, helps kind of a neophyte understand how these games work. It's either like pure insider information or um, like really basic, this is what it is. And I'm more interested in like medium level st strategies because I'm not going to get there, but I'm, you know, I like learning. This is a cool little mini boss kind of encounter thing. Seems like I can just use my bombs the whole time, but oh heck. There's a beautiful ballet of weird stuff. A lot of people talk about video games as a, you know, dance or uh, theater or whatever, and I, I never really, that's ne not the kind of heuristic that I like to think of games in, but this here does feel like a dance. It feels like choreography that I don't know. Like I'm trying to perform Swan Lake. I've never danced before. Or I'm never going to dance again because I have guilty feet and I've got no rhythm. It's another option. These little, I don't like these little, like, space bug men. Space bug guys, space bug ships. Probably controlled by an AI named Jeff. Oh, look at that. Uh, each of these little nodes. I love the, uh, there's a, you know, maybe apocryphal, probably not apocryphal, maybe, you know, maybe just mythological. That's probably a better word. Uh, thing, quotation from George Lucas, where when they're building the sets and building the models for the original Star Wars, which Lucas supposedly said, I want to see the rivets. So he wants it to be so detailed that that you can see in these tiny little models, you know, most of them are like, you know, the little ships are less than a foot long and all this stuff. You know, he's wanting to see the individual little rivets. And I feel like the, the art for this game and most of these shmup games, oh man, it comes fast and furious right afterward but uh most of the art for these games has that kind of feel to it that you know it's very highly detailed it feels like it's a real kind of weird world where things could happen what the fuck sorry apologies for my sadness but uh it's got that kind of feel that kind of you know, we're paying a lot of attention. And I know that Jamestown, and I hate to keep going back to Jamestown, but it's just one of the few of these games that I have kind of some real knowledge about, uh, that it took years to, to finish up the art, or finish up the design and the art for that. Um, that's a fairly short game. I mean, it doesn't. there's not a lot of content there, and that's not a uh, hit on that game. That's not a negative at all. Um, but, you know, it's not a massive endeavor. But it's really detailed. And and highly uh, highly fiddled with. Brace yourself. Look at that. Look at that background back there. Super super world. All right, gotta get back in my like weird hand cramp position. I have to like really do some hand maneuvering on this. I'm playing on a 360 controller to to make sure I can use my little targety thing. I've got it on the B button. There we go. I'm sure there's like a... I should probably just have the two shoots on the trigger. That would make a thousand percent more sense. But you know how I am. They don't call me Mr. Difficult for no reason. It's because I play games bad. Alright, so... There we go. I really like this sort of three-tiered boss thing, even though it really seems like the first and second tier aren't very different in some of these. Whoop. How is this not the final boss? How is that last boss not the final boss? I hope I fight a giant dinosaur at the end. There we go. Okay, yeah, second phase is way different. Cool. It's a giant space rave. He's like, oh, oh shit. That's missiles? That's a big... Oh, a Gatling gun? This is a space metal gear. Or flying metal gear, I guess. I thought that shield would protect me, but it's a lot shorter time than I thought it would be. Ha! Uh, ha! Ha! Here we go. I'm gonna shoot, shoot stuff. Oh yeah, you blow one up, it just keeps coming. 
Look at that thing. It's really modular. Modular business. So it seems like my targeting goes faster when I'm in my cool break mode. So it doesn't shoot me until I get a new, uh, or until I can have a new little weird thing delivered. A new little module for the Metal Gear. Oh, it's got mines or something? That thing's not good. All that shooty stuff? God, this is such a, well, interesting but stressful game. I kind of feel like I'm having a mental breakdown trying to do this and trying to narrate my talk all the way through it. If you've made it this far, I commend you because I'm kind of doing some uh, glossolalia. I think that's the word. I'm just auto-talking. It's like speaking in tongues, I think. Speaking in games. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I keep shooting it a little bit. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. There's a little 3D effect. I'll get some free coins or something. Once again, I lost no lives, as we saw. Whee! Maybe one more level? Can't be more than five levels, right? We've stopped. What's all this? No, we're just slow. Okay. I feel like that my skill level has definitely progressed since I've begun playing. I don't know if you feel that way, but uh, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid uh, skill ramp, even though I'm dying really consistently. I feel like I get those deaths. I see exactly what it's like. You know, there's a lot of talk about like fair games and fair losing, and there's a lot of love for Dark Souls because it gives you very clear parameters of, of success and failure, much like, I don't know, traditional sports doesn't seem that unique to me, but this game, I get it. If I die, I got shot by a thing. It's a big, colorful dot that killed me, probably. You, know, you, you can feel good about that, or at least I can feel good about being killed by a big, colorful dot. It makes sense to me. You know what I mean? From the big, colorful streets, you know, I've got a, got a set of behaviors that I'm comfortable with, and uh, it makes sense to me. Big giant space lasers. Really, uh, really politically prescient in a world with uh, Wi-Fi hackable automatic guns that can shoot people from like half a mile away. Seems like uh, Crimson Clover might be uh, some speculative, some speculative fiction, a tale from the future, if you will. Oh, there's a little counter at the bottom left there that tells me uh, how many little uh, things I've got. Whoops. I wish I had not done that. But it tells me how many lock-ons I have. Oh yeah, it even says lock, doesn't it? I cannot imagine trying to play this game as two players. All right. It's amazing what happens in these games when you actually pay attention to the UI. Oh, hell. Let's clear this. Do, 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 do. This music's amazing. Listen to this. Okay. Stop listening to that. So I do a lot of shooting here. Unlike other parts of this game where I've done no shooting. I just don't know how to clear this map other than use my break thing. But even then, it seems to fill up again really, really quickly. I really wonder, and I'm sure that this has happened, but I wonder if there anyone has tried to replace the uh, coin op mode or you know concept of this game, which it's clearly designed to eat quarters, or at least I cannot imagine designing this game in a world where there isn't a strong desire to eat quarters in a machine. But um, I wonder if anyone's done that with microtransactions, where you can get more time with the game in the classic coin operated mode. I mean, that's, that's horrifying and demoralizing, but it makes a lot of sense to me. Bum, 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 chicka, 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 chicka. Oh, crap. Alright, 
So I guess this is a mini boss. I hope this is a mini boss. Yeah, he's only got two phases. I haven't noticed that before, but it seems like mini bosses might only have two phases. It's actually a little bit more simple. Like he's, I can at least see how to avoid these attacks. Not that I can do it, but conceptually. Boop, boop, bum, 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 bum. Oh, hell. Clear the map. So this is a, I guess it's like a car. Car of some sort. That shoots out green pellets. Operated by the Ninja Turtles, I guess. Oh, but I guess that accounts for how I can move around the map. This lock-on allows me, I guess, to shoot from the side, since it locks on a 360 degree circle. The things you learn if you pay attention and think for 10 seconds, but this game doesn't really allow you to think. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. My enemy. Grabby thing. We meet again, grabby thing. I've already blown your crap up. Also, this boss battle will probably be way easier now that I know that I can lock on to things. I mean, maybe. Oh, I, do I have to get to the top of the map? Is it gonna follow me? Whoa. Totally flipping the script on me here. Alright, alright, I get it. I'm with you. I'm with you, game. Picking up what you're putting down, and it's not even a boss. It's like not giving me a, you know, it doesn't have a little phase meter or hit point meter at the top. It was just expecting me to do that, and I did, because I'm so strong now. I'm so good at the game. It was at this point when my computer just randomly restarted. I think my cat was back behind it and did something to it. But uh, anyway, I enjoyed Crimson Clover, as you can tell, for my yelling and hollering about it. I'm not sure. Uh, how much more I could get out of it beyond what I got, but uh, I think it was a great game. I think it was awesome. This is me talking the next day after I was super disappointed and decided I wasn't playing through 38 minutes of game again. Thanks for watching. Monty, my horse is frozen. Hmm.